Today we are hiking a really beautiful trail again. Right at the border of France and Switzerland, we are starting a trail that starts a little bit above Valorchien and finishes in Argentère. This trail runs through a gorgeous valley surrounded by one of the highest mountains in Europe. But first we have a train ride to the trailhead. Now on the trail we took this morning a train to uh, Valorchen and in the train we met a guy who said that we had an other route um, that was like a prettier route uh, so we thought okay let's do it let's try it but that ended up in like one and a half hour road walking but now we're finally back in the forest almost at the route that we planned and well, what's the plan for today? Yeah, so the original plan was to walk down in a valley and then we missed our train stop and now we just see where we go. We, yeah, we are training for the Tour de Mont Blanc, which is coming up. So it's really great that we get some kilometers in our legs. So we'll see where we end and let's have some fun. Wow, we just had a wildlife encounter. Sometimes you forget when you're in Europe, there are still snakes. Well, and I heard Dane scream and it was like the highest pitch I ever heard. I think we caught the snake on camera just a little bit. So we're curious what kind of snake it is, but because we don't know for now, but we're awake. Yeah, we're... What was that? Oh my God, that was just a butterfly, but now every insect just scares the shit out of me. <laughs> You're still alive? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just had like a really steep climb, so that's why my whole face is red. And like in the middle of that steep climb, there was a snake. So I started running, running, running in the full sun. But yeah, we're now cooling down in the shades again and ready for the next climb. <laughs> We are finally back at our original starting point of our route, but it was a great detour. It was a 10 kilometer detour, but we loved it. There was nobody on the trail. Yeah, and we had like some elevation gain um, and it was a good practice. To be honest, I wouldn't skip that part. So sometimes it's really good to have like no plan B, but just follow and go with the flow and just go wherever you want to go. And now we saw like a crazy, insane view everywhere so loved it loved it so we're back at the original route from here it's 10 kilometers to our finish and it's from here on out it's a little bit more smooth not that steep and we're walking in a beautiful valley
we're almost like 20 kilometers and we're now at like the, the highest end point. Col de Montet. Col de Montet indeed. And now it's only downhill to Chamonix, I guess. Yes, three more kilometers. I think three more, something like that, maybe four. Let's see. What's going on? <laughs> I lost the train ticket. Where? <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> so if you step on that stone, then you can grab it. <laughs> Woohoo! Now we can go with the train again. Almost lost it. <laughs> Yes, we're now in Argentaria. We are at the end of our trail, enjoying an ice cold drink, and we hiked around 20, 21 kilometers today. Yeah, it was a really beautiful trail, like we said in the beginning. It was not a, our original plan, but it en ended up being amazing. We were very lucky with the weather. I think we even got a little bit of a sunburn, but we'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. It really helps us a lot, guys. So if you're not subscribed yet and you're watching this, Please subscribe. See you at the next one. Au revoir. Au revoir.